Hello and welcome to Rise Up, the long play series where I take a tier 10 team to European glory in Football Manager 2021. This series is basically a diary where I document my progress in the game. At the end of each season, I'll do a short video to show how I've got on and uh, what challenges I've faced and how I deal with any problems that came along. Just to say, everything you see in these videos is taken pretty much from the vanilla game. There's no save scumming, use of editors or anything like that. All I've done was to add leagues down to tier 10 level, as well as uh, use real club names and change the game skin. You can see how this save started on the first video, but uh, as a summary, I took control of Worcester Raiders in the West Midlands League Premier Division with around £400 in the bank. So far, I've won three consecutive promotions and put the finances in a pretty decent position for the future. All my players are non-contract, so it's uh, pretty simple to control cash flow, especially with some early season friendlies. Anyway, let's take a look and see how we got on this season. So here we are with a successful 2023 to 2024 season. As you can see, it's, it's another consecutive uh, promotion. Uh, this is mainly due to my miserly defense, as you can see. Well, <laughs> less goals than anyone else in the whole league by, by five goals. In the same way though, my goals four, I haven't really scored that many. Um, it's been a bit of an up and down season. I only just won it by, uh, by a point and 20 draws. Can you believe that? Winning the league with 20 draws. If you have a look, it's been, well, uh, a bit up and down and only just nabbed it on the last day of the season. I think it was the the, the big match here was the Molden and Tiptree away because they were doing quite well. And I thought, well, I think I managed to draw that. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, 1-1. Uh, one, one. And I think it was a last minute goal as well. So that was quite, quite uh, lucky. We'll see why uh, my uh, team hasn't really scored that many goals. Here we go. In fact, I think it's under tactics, isn't it? Here we go. So as you can see here, it, it's a packed out defense, so I don't really leak many goals. Uh, but in the same way, my uh, strikers haven't really been that good this season. I mean, this is mainly because, um, I mean, I've pulled in loads of players again this season. If we take a look at the uh, transfer history, as you can see, there's loads of them, loads of them I've pulled in. And a lot of them were actually strikers. Um, my last season's uh, best player, uh, he, 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 he's gone. Uh, let's take a look here. Transfer history. Yeah, here we go. Adel Gafati, who was a, a defender. There we go. He was really good, but uh, Totten managed to nab him away. So he's gone to play in the Southern League Premier South. Good for him. Uh, and then my best goal scorer, the top 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 league scorer last last year, was Liam Lobjoit. Um, I mean, he's 29, he's two stars. He did, he did you know, put a few away, um, three goals, but uh, he's obviously not good enough for this level, but I just keep him as a, as a kind of super, well, I say super, so he wasn't really good. Um, but in terms of uh, my best, uh, my top scorer this season, uh, if we just change it to uh, gem, what's the general? Uh, I think it's in the selection, so maybe this one. Yeah, here we go. So my top scorer this year was Matty Stevens with a magnificent 16 in 39 starts. Yeah, not not great. Best overall player though, Anton Hooper. So he was uh, quite new. I didn't get him until kind of late in the season. I think it was kind of with a few games to go. So yeah, he only played 11 games. Uh, so and he scored six. So he's doing. Yeah, I think he's the 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 new leon lob joint for me so <laughs> he'll be the, the best player well the, the best striker next season going into going into 2024 to 2025. let's uh take a look at the other competitions um fa cup away to shrewsbury town drawn away to shrewsbury, shrewsbury town yeah I, go, I lost that one that's a shame um just to say um if we just take a look at the schedule here once again it's a, something to do with adding the leagues, uh, adding the extra tiers. There's no qualifying, so it just puts me straight into the FA Cup uh, first round. So, um, I mean, sometimes I'm going to lose. I mean, look, look at that 5-1 I lost. I just, you know, it's not as if I didn't get plenty of uh, warm-ups and uh, game game time in all these friendlies, but uh, maybe uh, I should have won these last friendlies or something. I don't know. But uh, a bit of a shame. And in the same way, I lost to, in, uh, in the FA Trophy to Basford United. Uh, in the third round. I think they're doing quite well, actually. Yeah, here we go. Vanarama, National League South. And, yeah, they finished uh, in the playoffs there. So they, you know, I think uh, there's, no, there's, no, there's no shame in losing to, to Basford. Uh, so, yeah, so because of that, obviously the finances suffered a little bit. I didn't get any uh, kind of, uh, let's take a look, uh, 
prize money. Yeah, but well, then look at that. Last the se last season I got plenty of prize money, but uh, this season seven grand. That's it. So yeah, um, thirty. I've got thirty one in the bank now. So bit of a stinker, bit of a stinker. But in the same way, I did use the um, windfall to uh, improve the uh, club. If we take a look at the uh, facilities here, um, I do have now basic training facilities, basic youth facilities, basic academy coaching and limited youth improvement. So, I mean, it has had a bit of a bit of a spruce up. So let's take a look at the staff. Uh, as you can see, we've got a bit of a fleshed out back room now. Uh, we've got to finally have a physio again. Um, two scouts and five coaches. If we take a look at my page here, I've now got a national A license. Um, and I'm still on the fifteen pound a week. I don't need any more than that right now. I'll, I'll get the big bucks when I when I bring true success to this uh, team. But weirdly, it does say I've got a spineless personality. I don't I don't know what I've done to deserve that. Uh, anyway, hopefully it'll be something a bit better than that uh, later on. But uh, yeah, if we take a look at the uh, stats here, I've now got uh, four stats that are uh, higher than double figures. I think last year was just just one, and they're really decent. Um, career stats here in terms of uh, wins uh, so yeah um, I did have uh, a job offer from um, Wigan Athletic so obviously the higher leagues have noticed uh, my progress progress through the, uh, the league so uh, maybe I'll get more but uh, there you go four uh, cu cups now that's the I think I'm doing I'm doing all right uh, so in terms of what I plan to do next year I am gonna keep the um, uh, the same tactics um, I think I'm gonna really struggle next year though because I think when I get promoted, let's just have a quick look. Well, I've got promoted. If we just take a look at the uh, competitions, where does this uh, structure? Here we go. So I'll either go in the north or south. I think Worcester's in the Midlands, so I think it would be north. But saying that, I am in the Southern League, so maybe it'll, it'll go south. I'm not really sure, but I'm pretty sure that uh, teams at this level um, get the players get paid. Um, I'm not sure. Let's take a look and see if any of these get paid. Yeah, £275 a week for that guy. Um, so I think I'm going to get demolished this season. So I think what I need to do is basically get a bit of success in the cup, get some money in. I'm, I still don't plan to have anyone on the books next season. So I, I actually might, may get relegated. Let's see what the uh, what the, 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 the board expect out of me. Um, yeah, they just want to avoid relegation so we'll have to wait and see i don't think i'll be able to do that if everyone's getting paid and, and these guys are just <laughs> working for peanuts so anyway we'll, we'll see and hopefully uh hopefully we'll have a good one next season anyway i'll show you that that's on the next video anyway thanks for watching i'll see you next time